Roche has always been in the business of generating data, and based on that delivering innovative medicines and diagnostic tests to patients around the world. Like many other industries, we are witnessing an explosion of data. When used properly, these data can help bring new solutions to patients, physicians, and payers. Today, we've invited Atul Bhutta, professor at Stanford University, to Roche to share his view of big data, and we've also asked a number of Roche colleagues what big data means for them. I think there's three major trends I can see uh, the healthcare system moving towards. Uh, one is that uh, healthcare systems and hospitals are deploying electronic medical record systems. Mm. I think it's clear that the more data we capture electronically for patients in the United States, the better we're going to do the right thing for those patients. Mm. I think another is patient empowerment. I think we are now in a generation that carries smartphones and tablets, and mm. I think patients want to know what we're measuring and what we're doing to them in the healthcare setting. But I think the other is the cost of drug development itself. Mm. I think it's hard mm. to spend four to $12 billion to develop a new drug. So that means the future of healthcare is really a data-driven problem. That gets me excited. I mean, Atul gave a fantastic presentation, and I think for me, the biggest challenge to us was about how we um, perhaps sometimes are over perfect with what we do um, and he gave some good examples where actually just good enough was enough to perhaps progress uh, a new molecule or a new idea forward. Coming up with new questions for old data is just mm. an amazing one because we have to leave this mode where we think that this data is useful for just answering one question. We can come up with more questions. And if we don't, others can come up with the right mm -hmm. questions and get to those answers. So I think it, the big data problem is, is solvable in some ways that we can save the data. What we do with it and how we ask the right questions, I think is the next big challenge. The challenges and opportunities of big data are very specific for R&D. And those are really about the complexity of the underlying biology, which the data are describing. In two years, we generated the equivalent data, that, or the same amount of data as we've generated in the previous hundred or so years. So over the last decades, we've always pulled all the data in and uh, processed it, analyzed it in-house. Uh, as we go forward, we're going to have to package our analyses and actually sort of within a, a kind of a virtual computer, if you like, and ship it out to where the data reside. To just give you a picture about how much data we are talking about, imagine one of the 16 gigabyte iPads here if we would create a tower of those to store one petabyte of information, that would be bigger than twice the Empire State Building. Now around us here in the Roche data centers, we are storing over 42 petabytes of information we manage and analyze, and about 50% of that is used by early research and development. The biggest challenge is actually not to store that data, but to make it accessible and decide how to derive value out of that information. Every second, hundreds of data points are being created from patients' blood and their tissue samples on a Roche diagnostics instrument around the globe. Interpreting this data in the context of patients' health and including all kinds of additional relevant medical information is becoming an increasing challenge for physicians. We might not have ever thought that we could save every byte of data from an image or pathology. Today, hard disk prices have plummeted. We can mm. save everything. And it's only a matter of time before that is all delivered to the doctor at the point of care in a useful way that generates something actionable for the Absolutely. patient. Big data will bring solutions to some of those challenges. I can see a future where, for example, an oncologist will be supported by such approaches in finding the right therapy for a patient quickly by integrating and analyzing complex data sets such as sequencing and medical imaging data or the latest publications from clinical trials.